Hello and welcome back to Stranded Deep, welcome back to Pacific Paradise and welcome back to this item we find ourselves on. Last time we were just going through the graphics settings for the game because not everyone knew what they did and I thought it was about time we did that. Anyway, we do have ourselves a corrugated panel here which is one left over from when we were building the navigation tower. The navigation tower that helps us navigate our way into the harbour. We also have a great white up there. I moved him because he needed to be moved into position. He's now facing the island. The island which has our treehouse on it. Yeah, the treehouse, which includes the great white bar and grill. It includes the gyrocopter landing pad. We have the harbour itself with the raft. We have another raft. And we have things to do. Yes, this red panel can be used to make a little navigation aid for the opposite side of the island because what I thought we could do in the upcoming episodes is take this big raft and throw upon it the gyrocopter for which it was designed to carry. So we put the gyrocopter on there and then we go and find the boss monsters. We scout out the boss monsters using the gyrocopter and then at some point we go and, well, biff the boss monsters up with some spear love and action. It's not a good plan, but it's definitely a plan. So, uh, I need some bits and pieces. I just need, or I probably need an empty crate to put everything in. You are an empty crate to put everything in. Excellent, we are on our way. I'm gonna get some metal from, from the summer house because we need to do that. Food and water situation is not too, too bad. The music is as music-y. But something happened last week, or maybe it was this week. I can't remember. Something that happens every now and again, and that is that somebody comes in off of the internet wanting to know something about the game very, very specifically. And they'll go and look up a video and then they'll complain. They'll go out of their way to leave a comment and complain about how that I didn't I didn't talk about the thing that they specifically wanted me to talk about. I mean it's very strange, no? The videos are half hour long and are flagged with long play underneath. If you wanted to hear someone talk and play a game, well, here we are. If you wanted to listen to somebody do do some tutorials, well that's a very different video. However, 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 I'm just going to go up onto the roof for this. However, I am, I'm willing to be accommodating. I'm willing to be absolutely accommodating. If you guys want to see an episode where I just go through elements of Stranded Deep, giving you quick tutorials on this, that and other, well, say below in the comments. And it's going to need more than one person to say below in the comments. This is not a Vox Populi of one. This needs more than one of you. But here's the thing, while I will do a tutorial video, they are a pain in the ass to edit, and you are wishing upon a monkey's paw. If you don't know what that means, well, just understand the sass may well prove fatal. Or if nobody says anything, you know what, we'll just carry on as normal and do what we normally do, punching sharks in the face. Uh, but we need some metal, so I got some metal. I think we probably need some planks as well. I could just grab that. I gotta grab that crate. Got some planks as well. Um, that's one, two, three, four. Just need a ladder check. Hit C. Go to building. Gonna need to see what the wall situation is. Corrugated wall. Corrugated half wall. No, no, no. We don't need a wall. We don't need a wall. We just, we just need what we've got. Okay, fine. So I pick you up. You can go back in my pants. The hammer can go away as well. Uh, yeah, let's go down here. So we have a cantilever here. And the sections that we knocked out, the sections that we can't actually walk on, are still there. They're still partly made and very much decorative. If I tried to walk on them, I would fall off of the pier, which is actually looking really lovely. I'm kind of glad we came back to this and finished it off because otherwise it was just looking a little bit strange, a little bit weird. But we need to go and do things. So let's get a base put down because we need to do that. We can check the farms in the way as we go past and then probably get some, ooh, get some dinner. So somebody was saying about farms and farming. Uh, we do need to pick a lot of this stuff. Ooh, we got flies, oh, flies, look. All right, okay, cool. I'll pick these and it'll just allow them to carry on growing, but these are spoiled. Mm, they spoil on the vine, why? I don't know, the potatoes too. I can't, oh, I can't put them anywhere because my pants are full. So we'll just pick them, 
every three days the potatoes will grow. Somebody was saying that was two days. I don't think that's correct. Every three days potatoes and fruit will grow once the plant has grown to adulthood. Also, they were saying that during a storm, during a rainstorm, if you do let the plants dry out and they become twigs and sticks, a good soaking will get them growing again. I think that's only if it also has fruit on the plant as well. So there's a little thing. There's Mr. Krabs there. I mean, he hasn't seen us. Mm, all right. So what we have here is a natural harbour, big, open and wide. And one of the big problems I have is, well, we've got this headland here, but I'm not entirely sure where, once we are out at sea, where to put the raft, because all I see is beach. All I see is a huge amount of beach. So what we're going to do is we are going to whip out our hammer. In fact, we're going to drop the wood container on the ground. Oop. Uh, grab this and put in a simple harbour marker. So, hammer. And then corrugated foundation. And I think we should put it in something like... Ooh, close to the ground. Something like this. Okay, cool. You can probably see exactly how this is going to go. It's going to be very, very simple. Oh, we just knocked out one of our hammers. It just disappeared. How many hammers do we have in our pants? Uh, three. Oh, well... No great loss. So that is hammered in. We also have the lighthouse over there. So we know if we try to sail through the lighthouse, we're going to be in trouble. And then we've got this here. We got some planks in there, but that's not what we need. Also, what is the time of day? It feels very late. Oh, we've only got two hours of daylight left. Okay. We now have some... We have a hole in our mind. Hmm. Well, we can grab these bits. Uh, we also have some empty coconuts so we got some coconut flasks and what we can do is create gauze there we are take the gauze back with us wait you didn't pick any of that up we don't need to pick it up if it's on the floor we can just craft anything that's on the floor within 90 degrees of our field of vision so 90 degrees of the center point of your character from the front and you will be able to craft a bunch of stuff excellent huh we can just do a little run up here and here we are going to need to get fibrous leaves. Ooh, as we run all the way to the top. It kind of feels weird starting off. Oh, yeah, yeah. We need to just drop this down here. It kind of feels weird. Is there just more gauze on the floor? Yes, there is. Hmm. Cocktail bar is looking a bit messy. I think I need to expand that. I need to do something with it. Anyway. Anyway, 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 we also need to make some fuel so we have the fuel still on the inside because we're in the PC version of the game and not the console version of the game so we can put stuff inside the building. That will fill all the way up. Now we're going to need some fuel. But you don't have any fuel. I don't. Very, very astute of you. One of the things we can do is just check over here. I think I may have used it all. Ooh, no, we have two fibrous leaves. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to need some four. more fibrous leaves. Get the fuel on the go. Boop. Get the fuel on the go. And then we could probably sleep for the night. Oh, and then finish the harbour marker in the morning. Yes, excellent. We have a plan. Of course we have a plan. I'm me. I know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. People think I'm a YouTuber, but I'm really not. I'm just a person who does this for, oh, I was going to say fun, but sometimes it is a colossal pain in the bottom. A pain that is so colossal that sometimes you just can't sit down. You're just like, oh, I've been doing YouTube again and oh, my legs, they just, they just don't work. Not the way they used to. Anyway, biggity pick, one of seven. Gone any 12, 12 fibrous leaves. Well, why fibrous leaves? Why don't you throw sticks on there? Four sticks. Yes, four sticks or something like six, uh, six palm fronds. That would do it. But no, we're going with the fibrous leaves. Nine, 10, 11, 12. We only need three more. There we go. One, two, and three. There we go. Excellent. One to 12. So yeah, things you can burn in the game. Sticks, fibrous leaves, and palm fronds. And they will all go on your fire and make your fire bright. It will burn bright like, well, a fire, funnily enough. It is at 17.53 in the evening. We might as well just watch the sun go down. Why would we not do that? We could have a nice cup of tea, get a blanket, throw it over our shoulders, go down to the beach, and just watch the sun dip down below the horizon and the sky turn to twilight. Of which there are different twilights. There's... Ooh, there's 
Astral tw Twilight. There's Nautical Twilight. There's... There's Twilight with sparkly vampires. Yeah, there are different types of Twilight. Trust me. I know these things. Anyway, we're going to jump up here. And we're going to go back to the house, which is... All the way at the top. You've built a spiral staircase. Yeah, I have. Just in case invaders come and we can just bat them away. Actually... Nope, I built the spiral the wrong way around. It should be the other way around if you want to bat, bat invaders away. Spiral staircases in castles have... Uh, well, they have the clockwise from the top spiral because... That way a right-handed person, most people are right-handed, can use a sword. Where the invaders will have to be using their sword in their left hand. Which is usually most people's offhand. Anyway, 12, fill that up. That's full of potatoes. Looks like this. We have ignition, we can drop that to the floor, Q. There is a, I think there's a push and hold option, but you can disable that. Like, uh, they did at one point, if you just push and, yeah. So at one point they removed tap to release things and they defaulted to push and hold and it confused a lot of people. Anyway, uh, that will fill up, but that will fill up in the morning. Will we survive till the morning? Yeah, we'll, we'll do it. So we can come up here, we can save. No, Mezzanine. Which is a song by Massive Attack. No, it's an album by Massive Attack. Anyway, uh, and then we can sleep. And we wake up and it is a new dawn, a new day, a new world. And the harbour lights blink out because the sun is coming up on a new... Well, it is a new day. Uh, that is done, that is done. We can preserve the tiny amount of fuel that's left. That roundel is not all the way up and everyone's like, Oh no, that's a problem. That's completely empty. Suck it down, that's completely full. I don't know, I don't know why the roundel just doesn't fill all the way up. Anyway, put that in our pants. We need to go and build some things. We also need to put some meat in our mouth. I think you will do so. Our our cooking skills all the way up, which means our nutrition is going to be tippity top. There we go, excellent, good. Also, if you've been playing this game for the first time, it is the 26th of March. The time does have an effect on the weather. Not the time of day necessarily, but the actual month that you're in. We're in March. There are more storms during winter and less storms during summer. I believe around September, you can get days where there's just no storms whatsoever. Counts as a heat wave. Have fun with that. Everything will get dry. You won't get the you won't get the benefit of water from the sky. Anyway, um, panel, 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 panel in our pants. We can do two ways. We we got two ways of moving the panel. We can either just put it on our head. Oh, we oh we can't. We can kind of wear it like a cape. Uh, I am Superman. I am not. Superman's the worst of the heroes. If I'm gonna be honest. So Captain Scarlet and Superman. Terrible heroes because they just can't be, they can't be stopped. Like Captain Scarlet, oh yeah, we just buried him in a cave underwater, but he's invincible. Oh yeah, we didn't think about that. Hmm, what now? Well, nothing? And then there's Superman, it's like, well, he can only be stopped by kryptonite. Well, apparently you can get kryptonite everywhere. You can get it in a Kinder Egg, you can get it on eBay. It's just like, oh, well, cool, I guess. Because otherwise Superman will be completely unstoppable. Anyway, enough about Superman. What we're going to do is whip out our hammer. Which means we can quick craft. And I'm going to put the container wall... Mm, here. Bonk. Why did you do that? Because now we have a big red marker on the way into this big natural harbour. But wait, there's more. Yes. No. I was going to be so clever. There's more, because it's just a wall. It's just a wall and it's just kind of sat there. And so what we're going to do is whip out our hammer again. We're going to whip out... Oh, quick craft. I just want some stairs. Give me some Give me some plank steps. They don't go anywhere. But what they do, do... Do, do... Is make it look like that panel is now braced. Do we need to do that? Is that something we needed to do? No, but it looks chunky and it looks like something that would exist next to the coast. Hmm, what else? Uh, we should probably put a lantern on it since the lighthouse does have a lantern on it. So we can do that. Uh, you are empty. 
Oh, we only needed three... We only need three planks. Okay, come with me. Come with me if you want to live. I must find a way of doing... Oh, Mr. Krabs. Is he still there? No. There is a crab somewhere on my island. He is alive and very much volatile. Oh, there he is. Hey, buddy. Hello. How are you? How are you? Hello? Uh, crabs can't see behind them. They have a forward field division. I think you can go quite far either side of them and they just, they just completely ignore you. Unless he starts moving and turns around. But I think he's pretty chill, so while he's not trying to kill us, I'm quite happy to leave him. So what we'll do is we'll just walk away. Walk away and leave him to his own devices. Own volition. It's, it's fine. And this is about to nibble us on the bum, in which case I'm going to smack him with an axe until his legs fall off. But that's just the cost of living on the island. Right, uh, we've got a massive jerry can which we need to get rid of and we need to get a lantern from somewhere, question mark. All right, so good place to store all your fuel is going to be on your boat. Now we do have a lantern there, but it's one we carry between islands. That looks like a storm. I don't like that. I don't think we've got any more lanterns. We must do. There must be another lantern around here somewhere. If you're looking out and you think that's a storm and you don't see the rain, look up by the sky and look down again. Oh, look, there we go, rain. Oh, well, I'm glad I stuck around. Maybe I am actually learning something. Yeah, wow. Well, it's not quite the same as a tutorial video, but it's a thing. There's so much can, so many cans of fuel. Many cans of fuel. Go by. Bonk. All right. I thought there was a lantern in there. How many have we used that many lanterns? Jeez, that is a big old wave. Uh, maybe. Okay. I just won't want to go on that panel. Otherwise, we're just going to have to drag the raft over to the other side of the island. I think we might just have to drag the raft to the other side of the island. We could sail it, but it will be a pain in the butt, especially during a storm. We can check the storage, though come up all the way to the lower levels. All right. Do we have a lantern in here? That would be fortuitous. Oh, yeah, we do. One of three. Good. And we're going to need two sticks. Poo sticks. Two sticks. Who sticks? You sticks. All right. We'll grab them. We'll grab them. That storm is loud, but it's also going to refresh our... So these things are going to get refreshed by the water they have no fuel in them empty 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 so that's fun but the water from the rain as long as we are on the island and that's the important thing we have to be on the island as long as we are on the island they are going to get wet how wet very very wet also our our farm plots we haven't watered these in a long time they get wet by the rain as well that was something that stopped working a while ago and then they fixed it. So that's fun. Uh, we need a couple of sticks. Oh yeah. One, two, there we go. And then what we can do is craft a wood hook. Now there is a purple poison boy here. Oh, there he is. Hmm. Just kind of wanna, wanna put you, wanna put you, there and put you there we can actually turn that on there we go lights up the entire panel so we have made a nav panel for our our harbor excellent why is it necessary to have a nav panel for the harbor well the thing is there is a big old tree here but yeah it's very hard to see the uh, spit of land when you're on a boat because you're bobbing up and down on an ocean wave, it's kind of hard to see where you can come in. We know we need to go wider than normal because there are huge rocks out there. Oh, there's some rocks down there as well. There's rocks everywhere on the entrance of the little natural harbour. So if we are to go from one side of the island to another, we are going to need to grab the raft. You are probably going to need to go back in the summer house. So we can do that 
We can do that on my back. Do a little jump. Do a little jump. But wait, there's more. Oh, there's always more. What about the crab? He will try and follow us. Or he won't. I don't know where the crab is. Hmm. No, I genuinely don't know where the crab is. I have no idea. Zero idea. Maybe he was following us. Maybe he got bored. Oh, maybe crabs just don't like the rain. That's probably what it is. So it pays to be tidy, so I'll throw that there. <sighs> yes, it's some house. It is an unusual design, but it is also, like, legit above the ocean. Just hanging off a bit of cliff. And the only way you can... Oh my god. The only way you can build on a cliff is if you first build on the island itself and then just carry on all the way up until you get to a level you like because the rock doesn't isn't something you can build on the building material will literally just clip straight through it so uh yeah effectively what we've done is we've actually made a floating house and the rock just happens to be there but it looks good it looks fine it's good so what we need to do is go back. We got a ton of beans in my pants. I don't really want a ton of beans to be in my pants, so that's fine. Ah oh yes, the raft. What is the time of day? 11.54 in the afternoon. All right. So one of the things we're going to need is the big raft and the gyrocopter. We're going to need the big raft in the opposite side of the island because we are going to need to move the gyrocopter also, is, is gyrocopter actually French? I think it is a French invention. Good. Ooh, uh, this is going to be a pain in my butt. Huh. I mean, we could try and drive... Uh, but it's stormy. The storm. I need it on the opposite... Oh, I can't drop the anchor here because it's not in the water. All right. Um... Hmm. Yeah, we're effectively going to have to wait until the storm is over, I think. We, I mean, we can tow it. We can physically move it from one side of the island to the other. Oh, the storm is actually over. Excellent. Well, look, give me a little jump. A little jump. A little jump. Yeah. So the water tessellation is calming down. I said it's calming down. It is calming down. Okay, fine. So dragging that thing across from one side of the island to the other is not impossible. But it is a pain in the ass. Sailing it from one side of the island, again, is not impossible. But again, it is a pain in the ass. Ah, uh, we can try it. We can try it. All right, all right, I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it. Right, uh, we have you. We also have you. We'll bring the anchor up. We'll use the side sails. Do a little bonk on the thing. Okay. Get on the motor, give out all the right rudder. I don't think it really matters. Yeah, the turning circle, so we face basically directly away from the house. The turning circle on this is appalling. It only gets worse as your raft gets bigger. The bigger the raft, the worse the turning circle. Which is why you put sails facing out sideways, so you can go, you can move sideways. But why if a shark bonks your raft? That is an excellent question. Sharks can bonk the raft, and we've had it not so long ago. Where a shark swims underneath and you get a big booming noise and the screen shakes. Uh, I believe if they do in the little yellow raft, they can actually knock you out of the raft. I've been given a full right rudder without letting go. I mean, it's, it's crazy how awful the turning circle is. Also, I know there's a wreck off that headland, so that's a thing we need to keep, uh, keep ourselves out of. Some house looks good. It's basically half a house because we couldn't get rid of that tree. The bubbles in the water indicate something below. Alright. Full right rudder. Uh, we ain't doing it, are we? Nope. Alright. Uh. Sideways. Oh, the panel. Demarks the entrance to the harbour. 
There's rocks. They won't be our friends. I mean, it works. After a fashion. Excellent. Excellent. That was good. So we can pull ourselves a little bit further over. So we're kind of in the center. Don't mind the fact that the lighthouse the panels go black. Because that's just what happens to the metal panels when you're far enough away from them. Oh my god, this thing. Okay. What if you put a sail up? Yeah. And you fall off the raft. Oh. Well, I hope you didn't like your raft. Because you'll be saying goodbye to it. You can't... You literally can't swim fast enough to catch up the raft. So save often, save well. Good. Excellent. We have this thing here. I want it a slightly further forward. Did I put that one down? We should probably put the rear... Oh, uh, yeah, it's kind of snagged on the beach, I think. Push her out a little bit. A little bit more. Anchor goes down, and we should probably get the gyrocopter. Good, good. Oh, yeah, this is the, the reason why you can't build indoors, build farm plots indoors. At least, not on PC you can't, because the mud has to stretch down below the farm plot itself in order to fill any gaps in terrain. And if you put it inside a house, you would see the farm plot clip underneath the house itself. Because it would just go straight through the floors and look a little bit weird. But wait, there's more. There's always more. There's always more. Uh, food and water situation isn't too bad, but these are now completely full. Oh, except for that one. Because there's always one that has to disappoint. You disappoint me. I am disappointed in your actions. Anyway, yeah, gyrocopter. Now we've done this before. I mean, we're not going to do it today, but we are going to land on the land on the old uh, raft today. So we have some fuel. We're going to need to gas this up. Give us some beans. Advice shark. Just skim over the top. Ah, hello. There's DC DC3 up in the trees. Now the way we're going to need to do this is... Land on our... Land on our raft. Hmm. It's tricky. But not impossible. There we go. Perfect. So we are ready to rock. And all roll. Excellent. You know what? I'm going to leave it there. We've done some stuff today. Uh, we've got our raft ready to go. We've made a little nav panel. It's basic, it's simple, but it does a job. It really does do a job. We can see it at night because it'll glow. And it's big and it's red. Excellent. We have the lighthouse and we have the raft with a uh, completely gyrocopter. I was considering putting the little raft on there and then putting the gyrocopter on top. Maybe that would be better when we are out at sea because sometimes what happens is there is a big problem carrying the gyrocopter on a raft and that is anytime a wave clips through it lifts the gyrocopter up which actually floats and moves it around so maybe we should put some boxes in or I don't know something to stop it bumping stuff but that's for another episode so if you like what you see here definitely leave a little like leave a subscribe and if you do subscribe click the little bell dingle the bingle if you want notifications don't dingle the bingle if you don't want notifications and I'll tell you what I'll catch you next time.